righty. It's time to get started on the build. Um, as per the instructions, it says to start with the torpedoes. So we'll undo the torpedoes. And let's see what we can find. Okay. So, here we have the torpedoes. Details very good. Can't complain about that. Alright. As per instructions, it says we are going to have Z11 and Z3. So let's have a go. Now, with the torpedoes, I'm not quite sure if you can see, these little lugs just here, they need to be sanded off. If you don't, it just won't fit properly. So, I'll do that, and then we'll get back to it. Okay, now we'll get the bits out for the rudder, for the torpedo, whatever you call it. So I'll take off the Viking. Uh -huh. So got this one here. This one here. And they pop out. Now we've got the screws for the torpedoes, the propellers. I'll raise us all these off. Yeah, not a good thing. Well, actually, I might cut them off. These things, the propellers can only go one way, so which is good, so you can't really muck and um, make too many mistakes on it, I don't think. So, so while I get these things done, I assume you don't want to watch me just cut and sprue. I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, you got these little knobs here that you need to sand back. Or we, I'll just clip them, that's what I do. Clip it like this. Got one down here. Clip them off. Now all the torpedoes are the same, you need to, to actually uh, snip those off and sand them to make the fit nice and smooth. Um, so you got obviously one on this side. Snip him off, snip him off. Okay, now in regards to, to these ones, same again, snip, snip. Okay, I'll just use a stand, sanding stick, just to sand them back a bit, so it makes a bit of a smooth fit. This side. Same thing, bit of sand, bit of sand, 
and that gets rid of the bulky ones. Then I'll just get a bit of a sanding stick and just run it down. Also, do a little bit on the edge. Not much though. But it's mainly just to get rid of those little. I think it's when they pressed it through the uh, mold. I think it's a molding thing. So again, this side, this side. Now you see a little bit of a snippet up in here. That's why I just went this across this way. And away you go. And when you put it together, like so, you've got a pretty good seam. So I'll do these and I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, I've glued the, obviously the um, torpedo together. Um, along the seam line here, all you need to do is just sand this back a little bit. Not much. I just do it to get rid of the excess glue. And you just get rid of it. And to tidy up the seam, basically. Um, that's all you're doing, really. It's just getting in there. You don't have to get it, do it hard. Just a bit of a clean up. Joins pretty well, I think. You've got to be very careful of the tips here. Where are we? Of the um, torpedo, because they're quite fragile. Um, so you just got to be careful of that. Uh, otherwise, so far so good. It's going together very, very nicely, I must say. The detail of the torpedo, fantastic. Can't go wrong there. So I'll put him to one side. Now, next, obviously, is all the, the fins and the uh, propellers. So I'll tidy them up and I'll show you what I'll do then shortly. Okie dokie. So we've got the propeller now for the t torpedo. So all I do is just put a Double glue. You have two parts, you'll notice you got one with a little lip and you got a flat bit. Sorry. So you put these together like so. And please note you have to rotate it so it's off center as in the propellers. So it looks like that. Okay, so you can't put them on top like like that you got to twist it just a little bit to make them so they're off center a bit which is that one there which there you have it so again you see the little nodule there and you just dump a bit of glue And excuse me while I get the bits and pieces. Throw this on top, like so. And see how I twist it? To make it off center. Okay, so I'll let that dry. And now I'll start doing the rudders. Very hard to do this actually. There you go. I'll do that shortly. I'll be back at shortly. Okay. Now, with the torpedoes, I've used this product. Everyone's raved about it, and I must tell you, it is brilliant. Um, sprays on well. Great. Sh give just give it a great shake. Put in your um, airbrush and away you go. Now that's the torpedo. Now all I've done is masked it up and now what I'm using is uh, true metal. 
I'll be using brass just for the top of the wire head and obviously down towards the um, uh, propellers. Now it's easy to use. All I do is get a brush, like so. You don't have to use much. Um, just open it up. Just a little bit on the brush like that. You know, not much on there at all. And all you do is just brush it on. Now, it's like a wax paint. And it spreads quite evenly. Pretty smooth, I must say. And all you do is brush it on like that. Okay. Now I've got this torpedo as well, so I'll do the whole three. And let's see what it turns out like. As I say, it's very easy to use. Yes, it is messy. So if you don't want to get um, a lot of paint on your hands, use gloves. I know. I'm just one of those people. Just don't use them at all. Only because I just don't like the texture. You don't feel things properly through gloves, I don't think. So, it's a personal choice, isn't it? So to speak. Okay, so, as you can see, it's all on, just for the top of the torpedo. Let's put the lid back on. And all I do, Use a rag, I use them chucks, I don't know what you call them overseas, and I'll let it go off just for a couple of minutes and lightly brush. Like so. All you're doing is just brushing the imperfections out of the strokes, uh, the, the brush strokes, really. And there you have it. Simple as that. Now you let it dry, obviously, for a while. Um, it is recommended that you put a coat on um, because it will, um, what's the word, rub off, apparently. Um, so I'm just going to put a clear, clear coat on and go from there. Now it's all the same, the silver is exactly the same, you paint it on, or steel it is, I think it is. I've got silver, but I'll call it steel. And what you end up, it's like that. They're not a bad looking torpedo, I dare say. I still haven't clear coated them yet, so I'm just doing mine gradually. As I say, um, from previous videos that I've seen, you don't have to make the 12 torpedoes, but to me, it's part of the kit. I'll make them. Maybe you can just put them separately as a display or something. I don't know. But I just enjoy building, so yeah. Okay. Well, I'll finish this one up at the moment, and um, yeah, we'll continue on. Okay. Tor torpedoes have been done. Um, I know they don't have a red tip on it, but mine does. I haven't seen any colour photos of the proper ones, really, but... Ah, what the heck. Now, with this um, True Colour paint, you do have to put a, um, a uh, Aqua Clear Gloss over it, um, because it can rub off, apparently. So, um, I've been watching um, YouTube a lot. And people recommended this. So I thought, what the heck? Give it a go and see how we go. Um, so, let's get started.